Welcome to another Quotes and References compilation, this time for the Terrans on StarCraft II. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that this is the third series of these Quotes and References that I've done so far. If you like these, you should definitely check out all the Quotes and References I made for Warcraft 3 and StarCraft 1. Enjoy! Okay, first off we have the Space Construction Vehicle, more commonly known as the SCV. He has a quote from the film Full Metal Jacket, referencing how he's part of an army but more of a support unit instead of a soldier. In the rear with the gear. My present duties keep me where I belong. In the rear with the gear. He also has the first of many quotes from Star Wars. I can fix anything. If this dang thing holds together. Hear me baby, hold together. Don't worry. We'll all together. Hear me, baby. Hold together. He also has a line from the film Deliverance referencing his hillbilly-like demeanor. Say, you got a real pretty mouth. He got a real pretty mouth, ain't he? And uniquely enough, he has a reference to the first StarCraft game, specifically one of its cutscenes in the Terran campaign. Oh, my cousin Lester saw a Zergling once. Looks like you mashed some poor feathers, dog, Sarge. It's a Zergling, Lester. Man, those cutscenes did not age well. Anyway, this line about Free Zerg... <laughs> to... Hey, I wanna hear some Free Zerg! ...is a reference to a cheat code in StarCraft 1, Radio Free Zerg, which plays a secret music track. Next, we have the iconic Marine. This line is based on the one from the film Aliens, but it's also a reference to the Marine on StarCraft 1. How do I get out of this chicken shit outfit? Man, still stuck in this chicken shit outfit. How do I get out of this chicken shit outfit? This is my C-14 Impaler Gauss Rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. This is the first couple lines of what's called the Rifleman's Creed, one of the basic keystones of United States Marine Corps doctrine. It's referenced in many pieces of media, including this scene from Full Metal Jacket. This is my rifle! There are many like it, but this one is mine! This line is quoted directly from Duke Nukem 3D. I came here to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of... Oh, forget it. It's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum. And I'm all out of gum. But the ultimate origin of the quote is a 1988 film called They Live, and the lines are reversed. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. This line references the film American Pie. This one time in boot camp. Okay, well, this one time at bang camp. And this line is a quote from the film National Lampoon's Animal House. Thank you, sir, may I have another? Thank you, sir, may I have another? The Marauder's voice lines are all about bombs and explosions. Let's have a blast! But he also has a surprising amount of pickup lines and flirtations. Baby, you really like my fuse. Whoops! Damn, premature detonation! Some of which, strangely, aren't related to bombs at all. Baby, if I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. And this line... Got a whole lot of love is a reference to the song of the same name by Led Zeppelin. And this one could be a reference to the James Bond film Goldeneye. Blow them all to hell! Finish the job, James! Blow them all to hell! And this brings to mind the song by the Black Eyed Peas. Where's the love? The medic has several lines referencing the types of things doctors say, at least in the United States. Can I see your insurance card? Oh, I'm sorry. This was a pre-existing condition. And a whole lot of medical gallows humor. Ooh, let's just skip the medical history and go right to the next of kin. But as far as references go, I guess it's time for the many Star Trek quotes to begin. This one is spoken by the emergency medical hologram from Star Trek Voyager. Please state the nature of your medical emergency. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. And this is a variation on one of the many similar lines spoken by the medical officer, Leonard McCoy. Damn it, I'm a medic, not a doctor! Oh. Although the original medical officer never actually said, damn it. He just said things like, I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. I'm a doctor, not an escalator. And this line, The doctor is in. is on a sign the Peanuts character Lucy has when she's selling psychiatric help. Unsurprisingly, the Reaper makes quite a few references to his name. The Grim Reaper has arrived. Fear the Reaper Man. Be able to fly. Be able to fly. 
as well as terms that sound like Reaper, like these references to the film Repo Man. I thought I was signing up to be a Repo Man. Imagine my surprise. The life of the Reaper Man is always intense. The life of the Repo Man is always intense. He also has the first of several quotes from the film Predator. I ain't got time to bleed. I ain't got time to bleed. Gonna have me some fun. You're gonna have me some fun. You're gonna have me some fun. And a reference to the most quoted scene in all of Blizzard games from The Sixth Sense. I make dead people. I see dead people. And no space game would be complete without a reference to David Bowie's song, Space Oddity. This is Ground Control to Major Tom. This is Ground Control to Major Tom. He also has a line from Toy Story referencing his ability to fly with his jetpack. To Tarsonis and beyond. To infinity and beyond! And one of his move quotes is... Geronimo! Which is a United States Army exclamation when paratroopers jump from a great height, as he does when jumping down cliffs and ledges. These lines are really the Reaper's only lines that have anything to do with him as a unit, though. He kind of just spouts off quotes from random movies that don't really have any relevance to him. Like this one from the A-Team. I love it when a plan comes together. I love it when a plan comes together. We'll see a lot more of Arnold Schwarzenegger later, but the Reaper says one of his lines from the film Commando. Oh, I like you. That's why I'm gonna kill you last. I like you. That's why I'm going to kill you last. He also says this line. I'm bringing the pain and the pizza in 30 minutes or it's free. Which I think is a reference to Domino's Pizza, but it's not really one single slogan like that. They also say 30 minutes or less, 30 minute guarantee, stuff like that. The ghost starts off with a somewhat irrelevant quote from the film Roadhouse. Pain don't hurt. Pain don't hurt. And some general references to death and killing. I see live people. I see dead people. I see dead people. Never say die. I'll paint the town. Dead. This is a play on the phrase, paint the town red, which means to enjoy yourself or celebrate. Also, probably because he's a unit with a gun, the ghost has four quotes from Clint Eastwood films. I know what you're thinking. Feeling lucky? Punk? Make my day. I know what you're thinking. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Go ahead. Make my day. We all got it coming, kid. We all have it coming, kid. But these quotes are much more closely geared to the ghost unit as a whole. Nuclear launch detected. His pronunciation of nuclear as nuclear is a reference to the way former U.S. President George W. Bush said the word. That it had conducted a nuclear test. There's also this line. Today's forecast is extra balmy. Slight chance of mushroom clouds. This is a play on weather forecasters who talk about regular clouds instead of mushroom clouds. And balmy is a word for pleasant or temperate weather, replaced here with balmy. He also references these ghost lines from StarCraft 1. You call down the thunder, now reap the whirlwind. You call down the thunder, now deal with it. And this line, used when the ghost shuts down mechanical units with EMP shot, is a reference to the film Short Circuit. Johnny number five is not alive. Number five is alive. And last of all is this. I think the female ghosts have nicer equipment. I don't have better equipment. I'm just plain better. Kind of a fail? The male ghost said nicer equipment, so I'm just plain nice doesn't really work as a comeback. Anyway, other than that, the female ghost has this reference to the film Taken. Ghosts have a very particular set of skills. We will find you, and we will nuke your base. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. I will find you, and I will kill you. If you chose Spectres over Ghosts in the Wings of Liberty campaign, you'll notice when you click them a lot, they'll start quoting the titles of several Steven Siegel films. They're marked for death. Good thing I'm hard to kill, because we're all standing on deadly ground, and no one is above the law. When he cloaks, the Spectre says the name of a Metallica song. Fade to black. After that, though, I'm not sure what theme his lines are trying to convey. He quotes several lines from 1986's The Karate Kid. Mercy is for the weak. Mercy is for the weak. Get him a body bag. Get him a body bag! 
I'm gonna sweep the leg. You got a problem with that? Sweep the leg. You have a problem with that? And for some reason, this line from Jerry Maguire. You complete me. You complete me. The HERC unit is only found in the Nova Covert Ops campaign and in co-op missions. Most of his lines are nothing interesting, but as HERCs were ex-asteroid miners conscripted into service, he has this reference to the film Armageddon. You drill, you drop the nuke, and you leave. In that order. Don't screw that up. You drill, you drop the nuke, and you leave. The Hellbat and Hellion have several lines referencing their names. Ready to raise some hell! First is a reference to the play No Exit by Jean-Paul Sartre. Hell ain't other people. It's me. In the actual script, three people are in hell, and a famous line close to the end of the play is, Hell is other people. There's also this reference to the song by Meatloaf. Like a bat out of... Uh, forget it. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. And they have a whole lot of quotes about flames, burning, smoke, and heat, like the lines from these two songs. We ain't got no water. Just let the motherfucker burn. We don't Burn, baby, burn. And these three films. The flame that burns twice as bright burns half as, the twice as, wait, uh, twice divided by half. The light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. I just want to watch the world burn. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Smoking. Smoking. This is the catchphrase of the Fantastic Four character, the Human Torch. Flame on! Flame on! And this is a twist on the slogan of the United States Beef Industry Council. Sir, there what's for dinner. Beef, it's what's for dinner. In the Hellion's vehicle form, he has these lines from Cars. I am speed. Ciao. I am speed. And Beverly Hills Cop. Ain't falling for no banana in my tailpipe. And when he's transformed into his bipedal form, he has this appropriate line from Transformers. Transform and roll out. Transform and roll out. What's that? You're tired of fire and cooking Zerg jokes? Well, sorry, that's really all the Firebat talks about, too. Well done. There's this line referencing the restaurant Kentucky Fried Chicken, though I think it's specifically about a line in the 1996 film Space Jam. How do you want your Zerg? Original or extra crispy? Did you order original recipe or extra crispy? This one's from the song Trogdor the Burninator from the truly amazing web series Strong Bad Emails. Burninating the countryside. Burninating the countryside. Burninating the peasants. And this is a twist on the slogan for Ballpark Franks. Zerg, they plump when you cook them. Ballpark Beef Franks, the high quality hot dogs that plump when you cook them. It's not clear where the fire safety technique stop, drop, and roll first originated, but there's some early commercials around the 1970s that teach it, like this one by Dick Van Dyke. So remember, if your clothes ever catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll, Dick, roll. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. Stop, drop, and die. Here are two lines from a scene in Apocalypse Now. <sighs> Turns out I hate the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. And he also references a line from The Mask. Smoking. And The Human Torch. Flame on. And lastly, this is the catchphrase of the celebrity chef Emeril Lagasse. Pork fat rules. Pork fat rules on Emeril Live. The Siege Tank also references that napalm line from Apocalypse Now. I love the smell of burning wreckage in the morning. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. His quotes focus mainly on blowing things up with his tank. I'm not sure if this was intentional, but it reminded me of the same line from the Dwarven Demolition Squad in Warcraft 2. <laughs> Man, I just love blowing things up. I love blowing things up. Here's a line from the film 1941. Let me hear your guns, boy. Yeah, boy, that's it. Let me hear your guns! This line referencing Brokeback Mountain. Why can't I quit you, Siege Tank? I wish I knew how to quit you. And a line from Caddyshack. And here it is. A long drive up the fairway. He takes the shot and... 
Wow! It's in the hole! It's in the hole! It looks like I'm a wreck. It's in the hole! It's in the hole! Hey, I'm the Diamondback doesn't have much, and these two lines may not even be their original sources. But for the sake of completeness, he has this line. Revenge is a dish best served cold to someone who's already dead because you killed them out of revenge. This exact phrase is from Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Revenge is a dish that is best served cold. But it actually dates back to as early as the 1800s, since a form of it is found in the French novel Mathilde, Memoire d'une jeune femme. And this line, Unleash the hounds, is probably most well known from The Simpsons. Release the hounds. Though there is some debate about how common of a phrase it is. Unleash the hounds! Like other campaign-specific Terran units, the Goliath's lines are taken straight from the unit in the original StarCraft. You can find all of these quotes in my StarCraft 1 quotes and references videos, but here they are again. Go ahead, TACOM. Acknowledge the excuse. NAVCOM LOCKED. Because of lines like this, the Goliath's lines continue on using an excess of acronyms. USDA selected. FDIC approved. Checklist completed. SOP. These are the same as StarCraft 1, but this Goliath also cleverly adds this acronym-filled line from Good Morning Vietnam. Since the VP is such a VIP, shall we keep the PC on the QT? Because if it links to the VC, he can end up MIA. Then we all become KP. Seeing as how the VP is such a VIP, shouldn't we keep the PC on the QT? Because if it links to the VC, he can end up an MIA, and then we'd all be put on KP. Besides the acronyms, the Goliath's resemblance to the enforcement droid on Robocop makes these lines relevant. No spec, EV-209 online. The enforcement droid, Series 209. The original science vessel from StarCraft I had a voice that was clearly an impression of Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Excellent. Excellent. But this version's a different take. Excellent. And there's this quote of Spock's from Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. The ship out of danger. Ship out of danger. He also has some funny lines about the lab monkeys and the gas leak, but they're just not as funny the second time. The old voice actor and lines were better, in my opinion. <sighs> Speaking of not as good of voice lines... Alright! Bring it on! Alright, bring it on. We have the Vulture. He says all the same lines as his StarCraft 1 counterpart, with a few added in. Like this one from Elvis Presley. I was born standing up and talking back. I was born standing up and talking back. And this one from the Big Lebowski. I ever tell you about my carpet? Really tied the room together. <clears throat> this was a... Uh... Yeah, man, it really tied the room together. And another bat out of hell reference for some reason. Like a bat out of hell. Not exactly sure what those quotes have in common with the Vulture's character, but this is a reference to biker culture and the song by Steppenwolf. Born to be wild. The Cyclone doesn't say any quotes or references. Uh, I'm kinda out of jokes, man. I'm not really a jokey kinda guy. So that means we move on to probably the least subtle character in terms of references, the Thor. Thor is here! It's obvious that the entire Thor character is based on the Austrian-American actor and bodybuilder Arnold Schwarzenegger. So all of his references are either to his name after the Norse god of thunder. If someone asks me, am I really a god, I say yes! When someone asks you if you're a god, you say yes! Feel the thunder! Hammer of the gods! Ride the lightning! Or to one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's many iconic movies, such as Predator. I am here! Click me! I'm here! Kill me! Come on! Kill me! I'm here! What happened to you, Commander? They got you pushing too many pencils. What's the matter? The CIA got you pushing too many pencils? Stick around! Stick around. His role as Conan the Barbarian in Conan the Destroyer. I am the Destroyer! What is best? To crush the Zerg? See them driven before you? And hear the lamentations of the Protoss? What is best in life? To crush your enemies? See them driven before you? And they hear the lamentation of their women? The 1994 movie True Lies. If someone asks me if I ever killed any Zerg, I say, Yes, but they were all bad. Have you ever killed anyone? Yeah, but they were all bad. Total Recall. Sue me, dickhead. Sue me, dickhead. And no Schwarzenegger reference list would be complete without one from Terminator. I'll be back. I'll be back. 
And moving on to the flying units, we have the Banshee. It's a common theme with some of these units to reference their names in their quotes. In this case, referencing actual mythical Banshees known for their deathly screams. Engine screaming. In space, everyone can hear me scream. Because I'm the Banshee. Get it? The Banshee also references a couple of films. Apocalypse Now! Today's in-flight movie will be Ghost Academy, the musical, starring Zac Afron and Corbin Green. This last one is clearly a reference to High School Musical, with a variation on the names Zac Efron and Corbin Blue. And since she's a flying unit, these last two quotes are from the film Airplane. What's the vector, Victor? Give me the clearance, Clarence. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Looks like I picked the wrong day to quit stim packs. Looks like I took the wrong week to quit drinking. The Viking references one of Blizzard's older games, The Lost Vikings. Eric, Balog, Olaf, come in. He must have gotten lost again. Although he mispronounces Baliog's name, as well as its sequel, The Lost Vikings 2 Norse by Norse West. Coordinates set. Norse by Norse West. He also subverts the slogan of United Airlines. Fly the unfriendly skies. <laughs> Being a mix between a dropship and a medic, the medevac has some jokes about being a transport for units. Picking up or dropping off? Dropping off or picking up. Including this line from Aliens, which is shared by the dropship in StarCraft 1. In the pipe, five by five. In the pipe, five by five. We're in the pipe, five by five. These airline pilot lines are often mixed with macabre jokes about injuries or impending doom. Attention passengers, the local time doesn't matter since you'll all be dead soon anyway. Like this reference to the unit in Warcraft 3 that transports corpses. Welcome to the flying meat wagon. This crude contraption will allow you to transport the remains of our master. This line is a reference to Star Trek. Uh, why are you boys all wearing red shirts anyway? Specifically, referring to the characters who wear red Starfleet uniforms. Such characters were usually expendable in the TV show, so they often died without you even knowing their names. Beyond those, the medevac goes beyond lines about physical healing and has references to exorcism. Go into the light! Run to the light, Caroline! Run as fast as you can! The power of medevac compels you! But the power of Christ compels you! And my favorite... I have exorcised the demons! I have... Exercise the demons! Back to the original StarCraft 1 crossover units, we have the Wraith, whose voice and voice lines are pretty admirably close to the originals. I'm just curious, why am I so good? Why am I so good? He has a few lines that might be references to films, but they're off just enough that I don't really count them. I explored these lines in the StarCraft 1 quotes and references Terran video, so you can look at them there if you want. There is this one, though, which is clearly from the film Platoon. Everybody's gotta die sometime, Ray. Everybody gotta die sometime, Red. And this quote from Adam Savage on Mythbusters. Gravity. It's not just a good idea. It's the law. Gravity, man. It's not just a good idea. It's the law. You probably were like me and thought that this guy on the portrait was the one speaking these voice lines, right? This vessel requires assistance. It always bugged me that he was talking like a robot, but apparently it's an AI speaking and he's just the Raven's remote engineer. Makes me wonder why it needs an AI at all if someone's controlling it, but oh well. It does make for some good quotes and references to robots and media, like HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. I'm sorry, Commander. I'm afraid I can't do that. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. I know I've made some very poor decisions lately, but I can give you complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently, but I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. And GLaDOS from the video game Portal. Who said anything about cake? There's also this line from the poor English translation of the Japanese video game Zero Wing. All your base are belong to us. All your base are belong to us. And this line which plays at the end of the song 2112 by Rush. This vessel has assumed control. It has assumed control. We have assumed control. We have assumed control. 
It also has a joke referencing its ability to create auto turrets. Darn, I appear to have Tourette's syndrome. Tourette syndrome being a neurodevelopmental tick disorder. The Liberator is all about freedom, liberation, liberty, and liberators. Liberation is at hand. Need something liberated? It's liberation time! Including this quote from Bane's speech in The Dark Knight Rises. We come, not as conquerors, but as liberators, to return freedom to the people. Now we come here not as conquerors, but as liberators to return control of this city to the people. And this reference to the song Freedom Isn't Free by Team America. By the way, freedom is not free, okay? Freedom costs a buck oh five. Everyone knows that. Freedom isn't free. And if you don't throw in your buck oh five, who will? We saw this in the Warcraft 3 Alliance quotes video with dwarves, but the main source of quotes from the Hercules is his Scottish accent. Aye, laddie. Two of these are from Mike Myers' characters from Austin Powers and So I Married an Axe Murderer. Get in my hold! Get in my belly! Heat pants now! Heat pants now! And this one from a Scottish actor in the TV series Red Dwarf. If I die, I'll kill you. If you die, I'll kill you. Who called in the fleet? Man, I hate that voice line. Battle cruiser operational. That's better. The battle cruiser has a possible Star Trek reference. Engage. Engage. And a Star Wars reference. It's a trap. It's a trap. As well as a bunch of random quotes from various films. There's this one from Better Off Dead. Let's go this way really, really fast. If something gets in our way, shoot it. Go that way really fast. If something gets in your way, turn. And this one from Admiral Benson on Hot Shots. I've lost my hat. Swing around, we'll pick it up. Holy cow. My cat blew off. Swing around, we'll pick it up. And this one might be a reference to space balls. We're going down. Stay with the ship, I'm out. Where's my escape pod? Abandon ship, abandon ship. All personnel proceed to escape pod. Well, boys, it's a very lovely ship. I think you should go down with it. This quote is a generic reference to infomercials. This battle cruiser shoots, it destroys, but wait, it does more. But interestingly, I could not find a single instance of a real infomercial saying, but wait, there's more. Funny how certain phrases become iconic despite never actually being a thing. The battle cruiser also references raids on another Blizzard game, World of Warcraft. Let's hurry up and finish this attack. It's raid night. Other than that, he references his Russian accent with these lines and vodka drinking stereotypes. Das Vedania, don't get any on ya. The Yamato is loaded. And so am I. Ah, it's happy hour. Wonderful. What do you mean we're out of olives? I have an announcement. I am drunk. With the generic units out of the way, we can finish by looking at lines from heroes. As with other Blizzard game quotes I've looked at, most heroes just talk about their role in the campaign and don't have any jokes or references. But Jim Raynor has some lines that call back to his cowboy identity. There's this line from the Die Hard movies. yippee ki -yay. yippee ki -yay, mother... And this line... Coprulo, love it or leave it. Which is a variant on America, love it or leave it, a saying adopted around the late 1960s in the USA as a patriotic slogan against anti-war protesters. And Jimmy has these two quotes from country songs. A country boy can survive. I got a shotgun, a rifle, and a four-wheel drive, and a country boy can survive. I got friends in low places. I got Between his marine form and his Odin form, Tychus has quite a few references in his lines. First off is Murphy's Laws of Combat Operations. After a couple of hours of frustrating research, I could not find where these originated, but they're a commonly shared list of tongue-in-cheek tips and observations about military operations, and Tychus quotes three of them. When in doubt, empty your magazine. The enemy's in range, so are you. Friendly fire ain't. Tychus also has this line from the film Reservoir Dogs. You gonna bark all day? Are you gonna bark all day? This oft Blizzard quoted line from Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend! This somewhat out of place line from the comedian Ron White. You can't fix stupid. You can't fix stupid. And this reference to the song Folsom Prison Blues by Johnny Cash. I got the new Folsom Prison Blues. 
And lastly, presumably since Odin is a Norse god, Tychus quotes this line from the 1994 film Pulp Fiction. I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Nova doesn't have anything interesting to say, but Tosh has several quotes about his nature as a specter defying ghosts. Who you gonna call? I ain't afraid of no ghost. This line from the film Total Recall references his telepathic powers. Open your mind. Open your mind. And he also has these lines referencing voodoo and his Jamaican cultural roots. My God, be jamming. We're jamming. Jamming. Including this line from the film Labyrinth. Watch the voodoo that I do. Baby with the power. Power. Power of voodoo. Voodoo. You do. The what? Remind me of the baby. As a stereotypical nerd, Egon has this clever line from the film Napoleon Dynamite. Do zerglings have large talons? Do the chickens have large talons? Since his appearance, mannerisms, and name were likely derived from the character Egon Spangler in the Ghostbusters franchise, it's appropriate that he has this line from the film. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. Back off, man. I'm a scientist. And this line is from the film Aliens. Game over, man! I'm done! Done! Don't want to play anymore! That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. He has a few more references in campaign mission dialogues, and I covered them in a short. You can find it in the quotes and references playlist or by clicking the thingy that just popped up. These voice lines from Matt and Mira Han were a pain to get a hold of, but they're good ones. Several of Mira's lines reference her marriage with Matthew, including this line from The Princess Bride. Never go against the mercenary when marriage is on the line. Never go in against a Sicilian when knowledge is on the line. <laughs> and of course, another Star Wars line. I didn't receive the death sentence in 12 star systems because I am easy to talk to. I have the death sentence on 12 systems. And last of all is Matt Horner himself. We end with a couple more Star Wars lines. The Hyperion may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. I'd place the odds of successfully navigating this asteroid field at 3,720 to 1. Sir, the possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. And a Star Trek one. Make it so. Make it so. Since you control Matt and the Hyperion on a campaign level fighting against space pirates, it's not surprising he has this line from Pirates of the Caribbean. Bloody pirates. And lastly, an unexpected but welcome quote from Futurama. Hit that bullseye and the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. We can hit that bullseye. The rest of the dominoes will fall like a house of cards. Checkmate. Thanks for watching. It's getting harder and harder to make full length videos these days, but if you like them and want to see more, consider becoming a member of my channel. More videos will be possible with more financial support. Until next time.